It's the magic of the musicals on Broadway and we've come back to the West End to talk to a lady who is so talented and so delicious and so brilliant at what she does. She's the star of Hairspray here in the West End at the Shaftesbury Theatre. Leanne Jones, how are you? Um, I'm good, yeah. I just uh, just got here to work and I'm going to put my makeup on soon and get ready and go to warm up and it's like a normal day, so... How are you? Because this is such a massive show. What a great role where we fall in love with you and by the end everybody's on their feet for you. That's lovely. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you know, there's a moment uh, where me and the character Link, who's played by Ben, um, kiss at the end and the audience gives us like an ah or a woo, you know, and it's such a good feeling because it means that they're on that journey with you and like they've believed that what you're, what you're playing for them. So that's, it's an amazing moment that is when... How did you feel when that call came through and they said, um, hairspray, West End, are you free on Monday? <laughs> it wasn't quite like that, but it was, um, I, fe- uh, I think I fell on the floor and like started crying and things and um, called my dad and there's a big story that I was working at the Halifax, which I was, and um, I had my phone in my bra and when it, because it, we weren't allowed our phones and it vibrated and I ran to the, um, canteen area and then you know got the call and just and then I couldn't tell anyone at work what it was all about and it was this big fiasco and I basically just pulled a sickie and left and went through the doors and it was <laughs> it was really cool had you seen the show before you auditioned for it um well yes I had um for this time because it was coming about two years ago and I didn't know anything about it then and I went to an open audition so I didn't know anything about the role back then when and I was still at drama school but um I did loads of research, um, got maybe a couple of DVDs, um, and then I did get to go see it in December 2006, so I did see it on Broadway, yeah. The thing I love about this show, it completely goes in the face of everything else that's going on elsewhere. In other words, the leading lady's always about seven foot tall, mm. uh, big boobs, slim, blonde, and yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Whereas you <laughs> are gorgeous, but you're larger, and it's about, it doesn't matter what you are, it's about your personality, and mm. it's such a great story for kids, because they're so wrapped up in looking like Jordan, and the reality yeah. is, we don't look like Jordan, do no, we? No, no, no. No, it's, um, you know, the whole size zero thing is really... Um, you know, so annoying. And I read those magazines, which is probably not great. But, um, you know, I, I do laugh and do think, oh, my goodness, I can't believe what little girls are reading and thinking that that's how they need to look like. And I love it when they come to see the show and they say things to me at stage door, like, you know, you're my inspiration and um, I wish I could be more like you and more like Tracy Turnblad. And that's, like, what it should be all about, really. And that's the reason it's such a great role to play. And she is inspirational because she's tenacious and she gets the guy in the end yeah. and she's the underdog. And we love that story. It's the old story, really, isn't it? Yeah. And she's confident. Like, in the show, there are a couple of like insults thrown her way and I, the direction I was given was always to just not to hear them. Um, and that really helps. Like, And I try and in my own life, mm, try, um, to be a bit more like that. Um, but, yeah, she doesn't hear them. She's so confident. She just doesn't... She doesn't really care what people think about her. She just does it anyway. I think you're incredible because what you manage to do with this is like the butterfly, go from something quite dour and quite blah, blah, blah to something really sexy and really funny and really amazing. It's not easy to do that, let alone eight times a week. No, um, because it has to be a combination of being fit and able to do eight shows a week and being a big girl. So, yeah, it's, you know, I, I, I guess like I feel it's almost a bit fluky and a bit like fate that maybe I was meant to play this role at this time in my life because I was up for it two years ago and it all kind of fell through and I don't think I was like ready and um, the movie hadn't come out so I think we needed the success of the movie to open in the West End and yeah I mean it's it's so amazing that I'm that I look like this and I'm the right age and it came at the right time for me and uh, so I you know I count my lucky stars and kind of think that it was meant to be so I always look forward to the opening number because there's just like a drum beat, dum, yeah. dum, dum, and then there you are. Um, I'm not going to give away what, what you're doing or where you are, but it's all about you. And from that first second, we know whether you can sing or not. There's no hiding behind these numbers, is there? No, no, it's not a huge thing in terms of um, range. Like there aren't any big belty notes, but I have to have really, really good vocal stamina because basically I sing every single song and they're quite fast and there's no way to breathe in them. Um, so yeah, it's. Singing was always my thing, I suppose, anyway. Like, that's the first thing that I started doing and people said to me, oh, you you know, you're a good singer, so... And then kind of everything else came after that. Um, 
I love the songs. Like that's one of the most the rewarding things that I get to do every single day is sing those songs by Mark Shaman and I love all of his other work and meeting him as well was because he was over here when we first started it was just like mind blowing I was so awestruck and how do you cope with the fact they chose you you are it you are clearly the best person in this country who could have done it um well I don't really think about it until someone say, <laughs> says something like that and I then it does kind of take my breath away I suppose because it's become a job now and that's so sad and I never ever thought I'd say that but I do have to do this every day it is a reality and it's not all glamorous like occasionally something glamorous will happen like I get to do a radio interview but um <laughs> this is not glamorous come on don't lie <laughs> no it is it's fun <laughs> um you know it 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 takes a you know it's something new and something different whereas every day you do come in here and it is like coming to work um and it's brilliant every day well some days it's hard but um yeah it's it's just mind blowing and I don't ever think about things like that until somebody says it to me and then I think wow like actually this is what I always wanted to do and I'm doing it and I'm getting paid to do it so and you can't phone your role in this is a feel good show and if you're not feeling good we're going to pick up on it yeah exactly um and that has happened you know like I have been off sick and it's the kind of part that you can't do if you have a slight ailment because you have to be 100% focused and have 100% energy um, so that was quite a hard thing to deal with at the beginning um, but you know it happens and I've got a great understudy and hopefully it won't happen um, as much in the future because I think I've sorted out the problem but um, yeah I basically have to be in the gym a lot and have to try and keep my fitness levels up and if I let those drop then I get tired and get ill um, so yeah I've learnt now the key <laughs> and this is probably the worst question I could ask a woman and I don't mean this to be insulting at all but how do you stay big and do this show eight times a week I mean you must have to eat thousands of calories because you never stop for two and a half hours yeah I mean at the beginning um, I was a bit too big so I had to lose weight to start off with and also to get my fitness levels up um, and then my weight has fluctuated probably within a half a stone region and when I'm at my smallest the costumes are baggy um, and when I'm at my biggest they're tight so I always know when I've put on a few pounds um, but I honestly can say that at the moment I do watch what I eat but I also eat what I want if you know what I mean not with a you know not too much of it something that I like but yeah it's it's not been too difficult so far touch wood I've interviewed a lot of Tracys on Broadway you're the only one that's been here um, because you're so good at it they've kept you on that's the second biggest compliment after getting the gig isn't it it is a huge compliment to be asked to say but um, I'm actually in contact with one of the other Tracys on Broadway Marissa Perry she's the current one um, and I'm going over to see her in December in, in New York so um, well, I can't wait because just to meet someone else that goes through what I go through every day like I think it's going to be a really emotional moment I'm just I don't know if it will be for her but like I just really want to give her a big hug and say oh my gosh like so nice to meet you and so yeah I can't wait to meet her and there are some shows where you get to come back to the dressing room perhaps watch X Factor for half an hour mm. then an episode of Coronation Street there's none of that do you even see your dressing room while the show's up? no in the interval I do and I'm probably one of the only characters in the interval that doesn't have to do a costume change. So I think they did that on purpose because it's like 15 minutes of heaven for me. I come up here and like <laughs> I turn my mirror lights off so it's nice and cool because it's so hot on stage and just chill out for 15 minutes. But it's, especially the first act is like an hour and a half of just running around, being hyper and being 16 years old. And it really takes it out of you. Leanne, I can't thank you enough for talking to me today. It's the last thing you need before a show. Um, congratulations on being you. You are amazing in this role. I've seen so many Tracy Turnblads uh, around the world, and, and you are just so unique and gorgeous and funny and all those things you should be. I think you should go to Broadway after you've finished here. That's my tip for the top. Yeah, I'd love to. I'm actually trying to um, work my way in. I haven't even, I don't even know how to go about that, but I'm trying to spread the word that I want to go to Broadway. So um, thanks for that. That's helped. It could be the new Ethel Merman couldn't you or something well I don't know about that but I'd love to be a dream come true although they have a weird stage thing there with the holes at the front um, which is very different from ours so I don't know how I would deal with that but um, it'd be a dream come true and you are amazing thanks for talking to us on the show thank you bye <laughs>